What's going on guys? It's Carl here and forgive me if the voice is a bit raspy. I am recovering from a bit of a cold, but it is finally iPhone 10s, 10s Max review time. I've been fortunate enough to have these devices for close to a month, which has been crazy since the release in Cupertino. I've had a tad bit more time than most people, but first of course, we do have the giveaway for the 10s Max announcement. Congrats, you have won a 512 gig iPhone XS Max. Just be sure to shoot me a quick email. And for those of you that didn't win, do not worry and stay posted for tomorrow's video as we have another smartphone giveaway coming up. And for this review, I'll start off with the things that people are kind of talking about the most. And the first thing, of course, is price. We have to get that out of the way. This is the first year that you can grab a 512 gig iPhone. If you're just getting the 10s, that will run you around 1300. The 10s Max, 1500. You cannot get past the fact that's a ton of money. Yes, you are paying for the iPhone, but don't forget you're paying for iOS, you're paying for that continuity, you're paying for all of those features to be on Team iPhone. And I get it, there are a ton of other smartphones, the Poco phone, the OnePlus 6, the OnePlus 6T, that are budget friendly, but those are Android. We are comparing two different things here. And in terms of Apple, you usually have to pay that extra money. It just seems this year it's a bit more expensive than usual. The second thing people are complaining about is Apple does not include any accessories with your iPhone. You do not get a fast charging brick, and of course you no longer get a dongle from your headphone jack to of course lightning. For the headphone dongle, I kind of use AirPods or say my Bose QC35s. I don't really notice that too much, but for charging, which is something that I still think iPhones don't do as well, they just don't charge as quickly. I wish they threw the charging brick like you get in an iPad so these guys can juice up quicker. Yes, you can still do wireless charging, but especially if you have the 10s Max, that takes forever. And unless you're charging this guy at night, and to that point, we have that entire charge gate thing. Thankfully, I haven't experienced that across any of my devices. And getting to the actual devices, you now are deciding between either the 10s or like I said, the 10s Max. Both are identical except for screen sizes and of course the battery. 5.8 inches or 6.5 over on the Max. They are both Super Retina, both OLED panels, both are gorgeous to look at and both are way better than the upcoming 10R. And for those displays, Apple said it used stronger glass, so I've been rocking mine completely naked. Unfortunately, I have a ton of micro scratches over on my 10s Max. All I've done is stuck this guy in my pocket. I've kept it away from keys. And that's unfortunate for such an expensive phone to already be scratched in just a month's use. I would definitely rock a skin on the back. Of course, dbrand has you hooked up. And if anything, a glass screen protector on the front just to make sure your expensive phone is safe and protected. I use the 10s Max as my daily driver solely for the battery as I'm out the entire day, whether I'm at work, then coming home to do YouTube stuff, I just need it to last me, whereas the 10s sometimes just doesn't do that under heavy use. This guy is kind of my bread and butter and it's what I missed from the iPhone 10 last year. And inside of powering all of this, we have the brand new redesigned A12 Bionic chip. It is quick, it is snappy, it handles every single thing that you throw at it, but I did find that my iPhone 10 from last year was getting a bit choppier, though when I did upgrade this to iOS 12, I found it to be just as quick. I really couldn't notice the difference between the 10 and the 10s. I think iOS 12 is a huge winner here. There's a ton of new improvements. We of course have Animojis, the widgets have been improved, all the notifications are better, gestures are better. iOS 12 to me is a no brainer, especially if you're not upgrading, you're still kind of on the fence. If you've got an older iPhone, upgrade it. It's one of the best updates that I've seen coming to team iPhone. And I would say the two biggest changes coming to the 10s, something that I've seen in my day-to-day -day use, are of course the speakers. We now have stereo sound, way, way better than last year's iPhone 10. And the second thing, which I think is the biggest feature that kind of differentiates smartphones is the camera. Apple claims it is a completely redesigned sensor. Even though both are still technically 12 megapixels, we do now have smart HDR as well as depth control on the 10s. 
The dynamic range on both cameras, whether it's the rear or even front facing, has been significantly improved. This is the biggest difference that I've seen against the 10, and I wouldn't say it's a $2,000 reason to upgrade if you've got the iPhone 6 or 7. That's where you really start to notice big, big differences. And of course, depth control, which really shows how much effort Apple is putting into now software and algorithms. I'm really curious to see how this stacks up against the Pixel 3, which should be dropping very, very shortly. I'll of course be doing a comparison against both. So make sure you stay posted for that review. I'm sure a ton of you want to see that. And coming to the 10s this year, it now has an IP68 rating. They said that it should be able to withstand beer, which I've dunked my phones in before. I've taken this into salt water, still works completely fine. Survived to the bottom of the pool and back again, a Hobbit's Tale by Carl Conrad. <coughs> But anyways, the iPhone XS is a pricey upgrade. I think if you already have the iPhone 10, you can wait till next year. If you've got anything older, you're on the yearly two to three year upgrade. The XS is a great device to upgrade to. The camera is awesome. The speakers are much improved. And of course the improvements with iOS 12 coupled with the A12 Bionic chip, this thing crunches through honestly every single thing that you throw at it. Curious to hear your thoughts though down below in the comments. I know there are a ton of gate conspiracies going on, whether it's the charging, the beautified camera, but I think those things kind of always surround iPhone launches. I hope you guys though enjoyed this video and remember to catch me in tomorrow's episode for another sweet smartphone giveaway. Catch you guys then. Peace. <coughs> I need some Neo Citra now.